Hello and welcome. Thank you for taking time to join me. I am Morjax and this is Rockwin. Um, we learned a little bit more about Sue and Poochie last episode. Sue was, uh, her dad left her mom and, uh, and her and she was forced to leave without Poochie. Uma? What are you doing here? I failed her. Oh, you look so sad. Who? I don't know why I'm still here, boy. After all the bad things I've done, I don't deserve to still be walking these paths. I had a life. I had a vice. Maybe I didn't know what I had at the time, and I ran away from my problems. In the most cowardly way a man can. Is this... Oh, is this her dad? Could it be? They needed me. Sue needed me. This is, I think this is Sue's dad. So now I spend my days wandering these worlds in hopes that I can find something, anything, to make this pain go away. Poochie. Did you take care of her while I was away? Dot to dot. You took care of each other. She's strong, isn't she? Maybe you can't change the past, but you can still do something for her, Uma. What's that? Let her know that you love her and that you always did, even when it didn't seem that way. Thank you, boy. Well, I think the time has come for me to cross these worlds. It's been a real pleasure. Goodbye. That's Sue's dad! Oh my goodness! What a twist. So he's hanging out with Poochie. So he had a vice. Oh. This might be Sue's song right here. Poochie! Poochie? She's fading in and Uma's fading out. Poochie! Oh Poochie, I'm so sorry for leaving you. I remember now, you waited for me by the tree near our old home. I wanted to meet you there, I wanted to so badly. Thank you for understanding, girl. I'll never leave you again. I promise. Could this be a song? no Kokoro part four. Goodbye, Sue. You didn't tell her you always cared. Uma, that was your chance. We got one left. We're in the home stretch now. Oh, good, good. It's hard to be alone. Danielle, hey. You guys are still here? Hey, Danielle. Since you're still here, you should come join us at s for Star Night tonight. Thank you. What's Star Night again? Dot, dot, dot. Only the biggest celebration of the whole year. It's basically the best, trust me. Okay. We're almost ready, but I think Panky and Cora might be running a bit behind. You might want to visit them and see if they need anything. When it's time for Star Night, uh, talk to the chief and he'll walk, walk over it, walk over with you. That was hard for me. See you soon. Words are tough. Okay. So we've got just... Just the one song left. We gotta go check with Panky and Cora. I think we're approaching the home stretch, maybe? It's probably gonna be another few episodes if I had to guess. But I think we're getting there. Alright, is this Panky? 
Sup, Panky? Hey, buddy, how's it going? You look stressed out. I am! Star Knight is almost here, but I'm nowhere near ready. I'm the village chef, which means I'm responsible for all the Star Knight food. Why don't they do a, a potluck? Then everyone can bring some. Pancakes for the pancake eating contest. Bake another ten pies. Collect silly berries for the silly berry juice. Hey, if you could bring me 40 silly berries, life would be so much easier. What do you say? Sure. All right, 40. Let's see how many we have. Uh, we've got 70, bro. <laughs> there you go. We've been see my my hoarding my hoarding tendencies paid off for me once again. Thanks to you, there will be plenty of silly berry juice for everyone. Talk to the chief, and he'll walk over with you. Stacy. Uh, royal jelly? Yeah, jelly jar. Carry bugs and other things. All right, all right. And then, uh... I sort of forgot who else I need to talk to. Cora? I think this is Cora. Sup, Cora? You look stressed out. Don't get me wrong, I love making paper lanterns for Star Night Festival. I'm just, uh, running behind and afraid I won't finish on time. Do you think you could help me gather materials? Five reeds, six fireflies. Sure, I'll help. Reeds look like the ones I have in the vase down there. Okay, they grow around the water. Fireflies, a jar from Panky's. We just got that. All right. Reeds, 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 reeds. We have six reeds, so I think we got enough there. So we just have to go get some fireflies. And I recall there being some south here. I think they're all over the place. I already forgot how many we need. Like five or six? Six or seven? Something like that. There's a bunch over here. Great. One. Two. Wish I could run. Did I not get this yet? Really? That might have been when I lost some... There we go. I think I lost some save file earlier on, and I didn't apparently go back here. Okay, okay. Oh, I can go off to the side there. Get those treasure chests. We can't go this way yet. Let's do that. Strutting right on over this way. <clears throat> so I wonder if the, uh... If the, the festival is kind of the last big scene or event or whatever. Give me something good. Airplane sky scene. 20G. All right. Okay. Um, I'm going to warp ahead, traipse around, and look for more fireflies. So I'll see you in a moment. Oh, okay. We haven't gone up this way yet. Let's check this out. Fun wall stickers. All right, we got to send the fun wall stickers and the airplanes, airplane sky scene. Hanging airplanes and sky decals for the wall. Very good. Let's go up to Beanstalk. We haven't been up this way yet. Oh, Good sheep. Good sheepy. That's just water. Here's a chest and a house. Spirit Envoy. Spirit Envoy CD for the jukebox. Okay. Door's locked. I think that was all there was up here, unless we come up later. Maybe that's all there was. Maybe it's just a little side side sprout. Okay, I'm going to keep looking for, uh, for more fireflies here. I think we need, like, maybe four more. Oh, here's one now. By Jove. And there's another one, and also a rock we can chop. Rock lobster, lobster. Doom, 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 doom. Let's do it. Well, this is, I don't know. I, I feel like I'm, what? There's a sign jumping. Um, this has been kind of a nice collection of stories. Uh, a lot of really hard topics, you know? Can't believe I'm missing the ceremony. Ceremony? Yeah, the signs are celebrating Wooden Sign Day. There's singing and dancing. We discuss issues that affect wooden signs. Things like mold, termites, culture. Why are you missing it? The other signs made me stand guard. Uh, in all honesty, I think it's because they don't like me. They make fun of me because I still carry a blanket around with me. 
technically it's not a blanket, it's a giant purple beanbag. Nothing wrong with that. You're right. Security beanbag, he's, is he any less of a wooden sign? Definitely not. And now that I've mentioned my beanbag, I feel very weird without it. I bet the other signs are going to try to cut it up or something. No! Oh, I would feel so sad. I'll help you out. Where is it? Treasure box inside the cave that I'm supposed to be guarding. I'll do it. Okay. Let's go get that. Who let this non-sign into our ceremony? Ped hexing. Yield. Stop interrupting us or we'll change our text to say get out. Haha, <gasps> uh -huh. he keeps a security beanbag in here. What a big baby. Let's cut it up. 25 miles an hour. What? Is he making fun of us? It's time to teach this non-sign a lesson. Wait, that smell. He has mold on his shoes. Mold? Run! Nice. Big purple security beanbag. Okay. Deliver. My beanbag. You found my security beanbag. Thank you so much. You know, while I was standing out here thinking about life, I decided that as much as I love my beanbag, maybe there's something else, uh, someone else out there that needs it more than I do. Do you know someone? Uh, perhaps someone in the hospital would like it. We can put it in the new patient lounge. All right. Technically called a Sealaberry beanbag. A legal artisan from the Skylands made it. Please take it. Bring happiness to new friends. Gotcha. Gonna try to stand up for myself and the others give me a hard time. Okay. So we're getting a bunch of stuff. <clears throat> for the uh, patient room. Let's see what this onion has to say for himself. Aren't you just a doll? You have a good day now, hon. What a sweet onion. Such a sweet onion. Oh my gosh, there's like all kinds of places we haven't been yet. 10G. Let's go. There's something off to the right, but let's pop our heads up to the left here and see if we can see a cave. Oh, more treasure. Money. Money, 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 money. Money. What is that? Looks like maybe mushrooms or something. A fungus. A fungus among us. What's up, guy? Thankful turkey tail. How are you? Good. Thank you for asking. I'm very good. I live on a log. Isn't that neat? I just grew the other day. A tree had to fall before I could grow. It gives me food and a nice place to live. So every day, I always think to myself, what a generous tree. I love this tree so much. He seems nice. What is this? What the heck? Steven, I love this music. Play it louder, man. Music? Yeah, you don't hear it? I don't think so. Oh man, you're missing out. The music is why I can't stop dancing. Hey, I've got an idea. I'll give you something to help you get in the dancing mood, too. Tiny Planet CD. Yeah, man. Minomori 17. All the Minomori anciently... Anxiously await the great forest guardian's awakening. Seems good. Do you ever hear melodies when you're feeling really emotional or when you fa fast asleep? I do. I try to hold on to them as long as I can. I ask myself, where do they even come from? Are they floating around in the air? Did someone put them in my head when I wasn't looking? Music is the best. Okay, that's another item. Tiny Planet CD for the jukebox. And I'm going to jump ahead until I find some more... Uh, fireflies. Here we go. There's a bunch over here. Good. Over, uh, by Kisaburo St Springs. Uh, there's four on this map. Wow, that might be all that we need. Good thing we don't let any out when we catch new ones in the jar. Um, I think... Let me check after I grab this. How many do we have now? Eight. I'm pretty sure that's enough, so let me jump back to town here, and I'll see you in a moment. I think we might be ready to uh, help make some lanterns. We have made it back, back to town again. Let's head to Korra. And I think we do have everything we need. There we go. Reeds and the fireflies. Now Star Knight will be as bright as it was meant to be. 
and it's time for Star Knight talk to the chief. All right, I think we can talk to the chief. Oh, it got super dark. Sup, chief? Help the blacksmith get his tools back. The stars are starting to fall. You know what that means. Star Knight's about to begin. Let's go to the festival, big guy. Let's do it. Oh, excuse me. Mom, I can't believe we're really here. It's truly amazing. What a beautiful festival. What would you like to do first, dear? I love the taiko drumming in the background. You guys might, may or may not know, but I am in a taiko drumming group. So I like the taiko and fue flute. Welcome to Star Night. Is it your first time here? What am I saying? Of course it's your first time here. Well, come on in. Make yourselves at home. Here's a little gift we call Liebel Ramene. It's delicious bubbly drink in a fun glass bottle. Thank you. Whoa, Mom, look. There's a little glass marble inside the top of the bottle. Oh, how neat. When I was a little girl, we used to drink Ramene. A neighborhood boy once told me there's a way to get the marble out of the bottle without breaking it. But I'm pretty sure he just made that up. Uh, do you think she'll want it for her collection even though it's inside a bottle? That's very kind of you, dear. And yes, I'm sure she would very much appreciate that. Let's go to Star Night. What a beautiful night. I love checking out the different treats they have during Star Night. You ha do you have a favorite? Tell you your fortune. Uh, takoyaki, watermelon, or dango? I don't know what dango or takoyaki is, but I'm going to say dango. Dango are so chewy. I think if you like them, it means you persevere. You have to chew a lot to finish one. Tea bowls. Nothing goes with cream cake like a nice hot cup of tea. Cora? Hey guys, thanks so much for helping me with my lanterns. This place looks great. Uh, what's the best thing here? Sealaberry donuts at Panky's. Alright. What do you want? Let's see what she's doing, actually. I'm just painting portraits for folks and face paint for the kids. What's up? Okay, that's that. Tea bowls. This tea's delicious. Alice, Alice, do you want to know what I've eaten tonight? Please tell me you aren't going to get sick later. I had an eclair, a fruit tart with whipped cream, a sandwich, another sandwich, a pie, and... I thought you said you were going to pace yourself. Wait, does pace yourself mean eat until your stomach hurts? Oh my gosh, no. Oh, then no, I'm not going to pace myself. <laughs> Have you tried midnight tea before? It's a very special kind of tea that makes you dream the sweetest dreams you ever had. It's the fish game. Try your hand at King Yo Sushi. If you catch a goldfish, you can keep it as a pet. Let's play. Use your paper net. Good luck. Dunk. Sorry, you didn't catch anything. Better luck next time. All right. Best star night ever. Happy star night. I'm in charge of coordinating the music for the festival. Wasn't able to bring my sweet dog spirit with me. It makes me sad, but I'll see her soon. Anyway, there's a little something to help you remember tonight. Aboshi Matsuri. Ah. I bet that's this song right here. It sounds kind of like a Matsuri uh, Karakaka. Oh yes, No Holds Barred played festivals too. Little buds in the house, let's get this party started. Craig, any requests? Do a lute solo. Right here. No Holds Barred! <laughs> Kazuko, you made it. I'm so happy to see you here. I brought many different teas to share with folks. Uh, midnight tea is the most popular. Well, it tastes sweet, though there's no sugar. It will make you feel cozy and warm, as if you were at home. But the real reason it's special is that after drinking it, you have the sweetest dreams you ever had. Care to try some? Once, you're, once you drink it, you surely fall asleep. Sure! Wait! Make a deep slumber? No, not yet. Not yet. Sugar babies, cousins, long time no see. It's a beautiful night, though the humidity is terrible for my powdered wig. All right, all right. The chief tells good stories with lots of exciting secrets and twists. When I listen to the stories with my ma, I just can't help. Oh, she can't help herself. She always reveals the ending before the chief has a chance to get to that part. Christina, oh, the good part. You find out that the villain wasn't actually a bad guy at all. He was just her long lost nephew in disguise the whole time. Ma, why are you always giving away the endings? I just wanted to make sure you understood because it's kind of complicated. Sorry. 
I hope you're enjoying Star Night. Nice. I really like the taiko drums in the background. Hungry Liebel. Takayaki, they're piping hot, chewy, and delicious. Danielle. Where's your husband? Ugh, he couldn't make it tonight. He's playing some dumb card game with one of his bear friends. Super Dragon Mage Wizard Warrior Wizards or something like that. Uh, did you ever get a fifth cat? I got something even better. Her name is Peach. What's for sale? You're in luck. My plushies are selling like hotcakes, but... My hotcakes are selling like plushies. Aye! Panky. As I was saying, I'm nearly sold out, but I have one very special plushie left. Tenji? Yeah. Panky doll! Tony, does that tiny Liebel really think he can beat a bear in pancake eating contest? I'm a bear. Grandpa, you can do it. This is not a tiny Liebel. Buffkus. Bear thinks he can beat me at eating pancakes. I'll ask him this. Did he ever eat so many pancakes that they had to carry him away in a stretcher? Because that was me the last three years. Ah. <laughs> Everything prepared in time. You guys are about to have a pancake eating contest. Are you just eating cabbage from someone else's garden? Don't you judge me. I think that's everything. Let's drink some tea. All right. Yes. Yes. Down the hatch. Sweet dreams. Boom! Right on the ground. Who needs a bed? Oh. The music got all ominous. Question mark? Who's this then? Sue? Sue! Question mark? <clears throat> You're here! Once these walls were gray But you made stars and skies and snowflakes we found a rainbow everywhere You made a place so we could hide away And if you stay right by my side We'll make it through the night what? Flying away. This is our tea dreams. Oh my gosh, I want one. songs together With all the chess together dance parties of course Just leave your mom right there. Sue gone?
it's time for me to leave. I'm glad you built this little world with me. Did she leave the hospital or did she die? I don't even know. I'm not sure what that means. Yami, they all leave eventually. Yami, I know how you feel. I know what it feels like to have someone leave you. She didn't leave me. You made it sound like she left on purpose, but she didn't. Well, the person who left me did have a choice. How do you know that? Because he had the chance to come home and he didn't. What if he stayed because people needed his help? Who could be more important than your own family? He left us alone. I'm sorry. I know how it feels to be alone. But if you come with me, you'll never have to be alone again. It's a trap! Come with me. I'll take care of you. It's a trap! Okay, I'll go. Oh, damn. What? What? Did we just turn into an envoy? What the heck? Mom's waking up. Where's my son? We're mom now. Oh look, she's awake. Good morning, ma'am. I hope you slept well. Wasn't Star Night a blast? Thank you, and yes, it was a lovely event. I'm sorry, I'm just a bit distracted right now. Have you seen my son? Your son? Oh, that's right. You two are usually together, aren't you? I just woke up, and now he's gone. I have a terrible feeling about this. I have to find him. We'll help you however we can. Is someone lost? Yes, her son's gone missing. Her son? You mean that child with the warrior's hat? That's him. She just woke up, and he's gone. That's terrible. I know. I'm sorry, but I have to go now. Ma'am, I know you must be in a great hurry, but if I might make a suggestion. Here in Morizoda's forest, we have a belief that when a loved one has gone missing, a Hikaribana will lead you back to them. Yes. Do you know Winston? He was in town the other day, and he mentioned keeping one in his tent. Winston lives out by the river. He might lend you his Hikaribana if you're unable to find your son. Let's go there right meow. And ma'am, yes? The envoy are strong today. Please be careful. Thank you, I will be. Hello, envoy. Okay. I'm not supposed to touch him. I need to be more careful. All right. Now I know. Wub wub. Wub wub. Wub wub. Oh man, there's a bunch of envoy. Winston! Well, hello there. It's been a while. Oh, Winston, I'm sorry to bother you, but I don't know who else to turn to right now. What happened? When I woke up after Star Night, my son was gone. Something feels wrong. I don't know how to explain it, but I know he needs my help. The labels at the end told me that Hikaribana could lead me to him. Come with me. I think I might be able to help. <clears throat> Have you heard the story of the Hikaribana? A little bit. Where I come from, every year luna flies lay their eggs inside these big flowers. When they hatch, the luna flies make the whole flower glow and lift them up as they fly for the first time. But there's something else special about these flowers. If you've lost someone dear to you and you think deeply about what they mean to you, the light of the Hikaribana will glow and lead you to them. Please take this and find your son. Right. Let's do that. One more thing. Yes? You should start where his presence was strongest, the place that he spent the most time recently. Perhaps where he spent the most time alone with his thoughts. Good luck. Thank you. Alright. I think that's gonna be his room. Alone with his thoughts and Yami. Mm hmm. Alright, Hikaribana. 
What is going on to the hospital right now? Mom, I'm scared. What's what's an x-ray? There's writing in the walls. Why am I here, it says. When the work is done, we'll all get to go home. The door's locked. Help. Oh, good. Enter the portal. Let's check it out. There's nowhere else to go. But don't worry, we're a strong bunch. We're eating ramen together and singing fight songs. What? Hun, are you in there? Is someone calling me? Just me. He's a construction worker. I wanted to let you know that I got ahead in early today. Tetsuya called in sick, so they need an extra hand on the floor. Oh, that's too bad. Well, your lunch is all ready. I gotta grab it from the kitchen. Oh, and I can grab it on the way out. You two gonna be okay, okay picking Grandma from the station? I think we should be fine. I'll let you know if we run into any trouble. I just gotta take care of some things around the house before we head out. Love you too. Hmm, now where did I put that to-do list? It's gotta be around here somewhere. Newspaper. Mom's do this. Find work papers. Start the laundry. Water the plant. Turn on the rice cooker. Okay. Um. Find work papers. Start the laundry. Water the plant. Turn on the rice cooker. Is this the work papers? It's weird being the mom now. There's nothing on this hour. Okay, let's go on about. See what we can discover. I like that bonsai in the corner. Very nice. Sermon of old books. In the drawer. Handkerchiefs. Uh, official papers. My work papers. All right. And then we have to start the lawn. We have to do laundry. You gotta water the plant. This is the plant, maybe. A thirsty bonsai tree. Let's get some water. Oh, she's got the bucket? Weird. What are you walking around your house with a bucket for? Dupe. Start some laundry. Laundry machine is now on. Flap the toilet lid. See, this is where the kid got it from. He learned from the best. From his toilet flapping mom. Let's fill up our bucket again. And then the last thing to do is to turn on the rice cooker. Which I presume is down this way. I like those paper screen doors. There we are. Okay. I do believe that's everything. Let's go check our list again. Maybe that's what we gotta do. <clears throat> now, uh, as you can tell, this... Oh. I got it, 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 I got it. There we go. Hello? Hello, ma'am. I'm calling from... Uh, is everything okay? I missed that, sorry. He's okay right now. He's resting here at the nurse's office for the time being. But you're gonna have to come and pick him up. My goodness, what happened? His teacher said that he passed out during class. He also complained of a severe headache and nausea right before. I'm sure that it's just flu or something like that. I'm leaving right now. I'll be there as soon as I can. Thank you, ma'am. All right, in we go. Uh, this episode is a little bit longer. I'm going to see if I can finish things out. Uh, taking your son to radiology to do a few x-rays. It won't take too long. Uh, I might split this up later, uh, depending on how long it ends up being, or maybe we'll just kind of finish it out in one stretch. I think we gotta be in the home home stretch now. Mom, I'm scared. Oh, he's young. It's alright, honey. I've had many x-rays before, and it doesn't hurt at all. This way, ma'am. What's an x-ray? Well, do you remember that one episode of Nekopan Man when his friend gets eaten? Yeah. Do you remember what Nekopan did to save the day? Hmm... He used an x-ray goggles to see inside the giant's tummy. He could see his friend was in there. 
So he tricked the giant into drinking so much soda he burped his friend out. Yep. The doctors are going to use an x-ray to look inside your tummy to see what's going on in there. To make sure everything's okay. Does that mean I get to drink soda? We'll talk about that later. He's so cute. Now he had a bunch of hair there, but I think I don't think he had any hair on under his hat, so maybe he's got with the headaches and the nausea. Maybe some kind of a cancer or something? I don't know. And they're breaking the news to her. Okay. I'm not feeling good, Mom. I'm sorry, honey. I'll see if I can find something for us to do. Permatrexed disodium. Carboplatin, carboplatin. Treatment guide. Door's locked. There's a sign on the door. Read it. Yes. Patient's not allowed. Paper and crayons. Hello, can I help you? Do you have any activities? We do. The children's lounge has all sorts of things, but if your son isn't feeling enough to re leave the room, I believe there should be some paper and crayons. Okay, we got that. Let's try it. Mom, I had another bad dream. Everyone's going to look at me funny. I don't want people to stare at me. Oh, sweetie. You know, I just remembered something really important, something your father and I have been meaning to teach you. What is it? Well, what if I told you that with just a piece of paper, you can make a very special piece of armor? This is where that warrior hat comes in. A helmet, in fact. A helmet that looks like the helmet Samurai used to wear in battle. Wow. Will you teach me, Mom, please? Of course. And lucky for you, I found some paper right in our room. Let's get to work. So he's losing his hair from whatever he's got. Which is probably not something good if it makes you lose your hair. Mom, it's so cool. You look great. Like a real samurai. Thank you, Mom. All right. Let's check for snacks, first of all. Green tea. I've been craving this all day, huh? I could have sworn I felt something. Oh my gosh. I have to find my son. Earthquake. Door's locked. I don't know where my kiddo lives. I can't go back in there. Everything's collapsed. Man, so I've never experienced an earthquake myself. It seems like it'd be intense. Mom, what's happening? Hold tight, dear. I'm almost there. I'm so scared. Everything's gonna be alright. Did you see outside? There's water everywhere. I know, dear. That's all. We, uh, that's why we have to stay indoors right now. Will we have to swim everywhere? The water will eventually return to normal, so no. What about Dad? Is he going to get back from work? You don't need to worry about that. When it's Dad's time to come home, the plant has arranged for special transportation. Why they have all sorts of people helping out. The firemen, the police, even folks who have boats. I miss him. Me too, dear. But we're going to see him soon enough. Uh, you want a snack? Thanks, Mom, but I'm not really hungry at all. Want to draw? Draw dinosaurs like the latest episode of Necopon Man. No, that's okay. Are you thirsty? Tell you about my friend from Fiji. Well, from what I've heard, in Fiji there's so much water they do swim everywhere. To their friends' houses, to the park, even to school. They just hop in the water and go. Won't their books get wet? I think everything needs to be kept at the school. Which is pretty important if you think about it. I mean, you want to get a good education. You don't want it to be watered down. 
Hä? 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 Aha. Oh, phone call. One sec, kiddo. Hello? Hi, honey, it's me. Dad! Oh, honey, I'm so happy to hear from you. We all miss you so much. I miss you too. I've been thinking about all of you. Is everything all right? Dad? Our team is going to have to stay at the plant a bit longer. Dear, but don't worry, we're a strong bunch. We're eating ramen together and singing fight songs. We'll pull together and protect our town. And when the work is done, we'll all get to go home. I love you so very much. I love you too. Dad? They're calling us back now. Take care of them uh, for me. Dad! Hmm. I wonder if there's like secondary earthquakes or something. Ew. Cora, we're so lucky to be this high up. People are saying water washed away all the food and medicine from the ground floor. Uh, I think it's nice that they've been using the bulletin boards for those articles. Articles? Those ones about your husband and all those other workers. I don't have much, but I wanted to say that if you ever need anything, please let me know. Vending machines are all empty. I wonder if they'll let us take a sam sample drinks out of the display. So they're kind of trapped in the hospital here. He's almost finished for the day. Why don't you check back in a little bit? I'm sure he'd like a visit for you, from you. Great and noble thing which your husband and those other workers did. They're truly heroes and will always be remembered. Like, did they die? I just can't imagine what it must have been like for those workers. I mean, our hospital has been hit pretty hard by all this, but I still feel like it's nothing compared to what they went through. Your husband's a real hero, staying behind like that to take care of the power plant. Hmm. It's probably best to keep clear. The floor is starting to cave in from all the water damage. Well, I think that's everything here. Check back. Where else do we go, bruh? Clipping from a newspaper article has been fixed to the bulletin board. Read it? Yes. 18 March. There would be grounds to suspect that many workers were not really aware of the dangers of their assignment. However, according to Prime Minister Naoto Khan, the workers were prepared for death, quote-unquote. Hmm. I don't know what else we're supposed to do here. Maybe we look at these other bulletin boards. The nuclear power plant was damaged, but the heroic efforts and improvisations of its operators resulted in the successful shutdown of all four operating reactors. So this is kind of like a Fukushima Daiichi type setup. Okay, given the long-term effects of exposure to high levels of ionizing radi radiation would be more likely to appear before natural death in older workers, some of the younger workers were given the option to leave. However, a strong sense of loyalty to their co-workers and community prevented them from leaving the ill-fated nuclear power plant. Alright, so his dad got like a bunch of radiation, it would seem. Can we do this now? Your son's all finished for the day and resting in the recovery room. Would you like to visit him? Yeah. Okay. So, I don't know if... Excuse me. Oh, my goodness. Sitting too long. He's been, uh, right up ahead. He's been asking about you all afternoon. I don't know if the husband passed away or if he just got like a really serious radiation dosage. I'm here now. Mom, is that you? Yes, dear. How are you feeling? I'm okay. I feel like I'm moving, like we're in a car. Are we in a car? He's all loopy. No, dear. Look at that face. Oh, okay. How are you? I'm feeling all right. I talked to some nice people today. I got to eat some noodles. Noodles. Yes, dear. Noodles. Um, did I dream what happened to Dad? I'm sorry, dear. That wasn't a dream. That's what I thought. But I want you to know that no matter what, I will be always here. I will always be here for you. But, Mom. Who's going to be there for you? 
Oh, dang. Uh. What? Mommy, where are you? I'm so scared. Uh. What? We're kind of being funneled here. Maybe we can go sideways. I don't know. Just keep going straight. See what happens. See what's here. I might never get to leave. I'm too weak and too sick. How could I ever help anyone with anything? Go to sleep. I feel like Yami's his, like, dark side or whatever. Well, he helped all the other people, all the other patients in the hospital. I know what it feels like to have someone leave you. The person who leave me, left me did have a choice. He had the chance to come home and he didn't. Why didn't you come home? Go to sleep. So that's his dad. He could have come home, but he stayed at the power plant. Who could be more important than your own family? He left us alone. But now I'm going to leave her too. I'm not ready. I don't want to leave. What? My baby, can you hear me? Go to sleep. Yummy? When you're asleep, you don't feel lonely. It's okay, sweetie. I'm here. You're not all al you're not alone at all. Womp. You're not getting rid of me that easy. It's okay to be afraid. It's okay to feel that way. Can't get that. I'm really, really scared. My dear, uh, I don't want you to worry. Everything's going to be okay. How can you say that? It's not okay. I'm not okay. I can hear what the doctors say about me. I know I'm all messed up inside. Sweetie, remember what I told you before? You're in good hands. The, your doctor is the one of the best doctors in the whole world. The hospital is giving you treatments that have helped many other children get 100% better. You're not weak. You're the strongest boy I know. You're my little hero. I'm too weak and too sick to help anyone. I'm no hero. Gonna keep trying. They say Dad was a hero, but why did he leave us? Did he not love us? Oh, sweetie, your dad loved us so very much. If he loved us, then why didn't he come home? They gave him a chance to leave the power plant, but he didn't take it. I know in my heart that your dad believed this was the best way to protect us. Who's gonna be there for you? When dad died, I really wanted to help you, but if I die, I can't get strong. If I can't get stronger, I can't even do that. Sweetie, you're not gonna die. The doctors are going to do everything they can to help you get better. Your latest test showed so much, showed so much improvement. I know it's tough, but we gotta try to stay positive. We're gonna get through this together. But what if I do die? That's not gonna happen. He's pushing me less and less far away. What if it does happen? It's not gonna happen. I'm sorry, Mom. I don't think I can believe anymore. Sing to him. Let's try talking to him. Oops, nope. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try singing to him. Here's mom's song right here. Close your eyes. It is time for you to tell the world good night. It might be dark inside, but there are still stars shining. Gemma, Tony, Kisaburo in the water, Sue. Let's try that again from the top. Can't move around. Close your eyes. It is time for 
Here's our last song. That was simultaneously really sweet and kind of a lot of singing going on at once. <laughs> I didn't know they all fit together like that. Oh. The guardian of the forest is woken. Please, please don't leave me. I'm all alone. I'm all alone and I'm so afraid. Yami, Yami, it's okay. You're not alone. I'm not going to leave you. You're not? No, I'm not. It's okay. We're in this together. You're a part of me, and I'm be um, I'm a part of you from the very beginning until the very end. Okay? Okay. Thank you. So he's kind of coming to grips with this, like, sort of, like, doubting, worried part of him. Thank you. Mom saved the day. I love you, Mom. I love you too. It's been a long day, huh? The longest day of my life. We're almost there, sweetie. We're almost there. Come on, let's go find Morizora and get you that wish. Thank you, Mom. Thank you. Moms are the best. Am I right? Are you ready to visit Morizora? If you need to talk to anyone to finish anything, it's probably best to do it before we see him. Let's make that wish, baby! I'm sure. Okay, sweetie, let's go. I'm ready to wish my wish. <coughs> Sup, Morizora? So, you're the one who woke me. Yes. I've heard the thing that things are too quiet for the ears. I listen to their fears and I learn what they longed for. I learned their hopes and their dreams. And I wanted those things for them. I really, really wanted those things for them. Then you have completed the challenges of the forest, and I will grant you one wish. So tell me, young one, what is it that you wish for? My wish? Yes. What is your wish, my child? I wish... I wish for a ride on your magical boat. I want to sail to Rockwin. Very well, then. Your wish is granted. Dang, nice boat, Morty Soda. That's rad. Mom. I can't believe we're actually here. He looks really happy. It's been a very long journey. You did great.
Oh, Mom. You're my brave little warrior. The reason I go on. No matter what, I will never ever stop loving you. Never forget that, okay? And promise me you'll keep being brave. Keep shining your light. Mom, I want you to know that your kind heart and your gentle spirit, those are such special gifts. Mom, I'm gonna miss you so much. I'm gonna miss you so very much, my baby. Mom! Yes, dear? You're my hero. Promise me you'll be strong for me. I promise. I love you, Mom. I love you. The end? Oh, I'm pretty sure that was the boat to the afterlife. Because his dad was on it. So that means Sue didn't leave the hospital. She did pass away, along with her dad, the main character, and the main character's dad. That was a good story. I'm glad. I'm glad I got to share this with uh, with you all. The fat label. Concert. Now, 
If you tell me everything will be okay I believe you, you don't have to tell me how So mom lost everyone. They helped people in the hospital, but she lost her husband in the earthquake and, or at the power plant, and she lost her son to whatever he had, some kind of cancer. Thank you for playing, and thank you for watching. I am, like I said, I'm so very glad to have shared this story with you. It's, um, it was good. I liked it, and uh, I, I think it measured up to what I was hoping for and expecting, and, um, yeah, it's kind of a, a sweet way to look at a lot of really tough situations. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed Rockwin. Uh, hats off to Laura Shigihara for, uh, for making this game, and uh, we will see you next time for more.